and we haven't recorded anything together in 15 years since the Hypnotize album. It took the it took something grand like this, you know, where we John sent a text was like, dude, we got to do something. We should, and it just went from there. While the new System album remains in limbo due to those always popular creative and monetary differences, the fans grow more disillusioned. And then, 2020 happened. While it was mainly the year COVID waffle stomped our collective sanities down the shower drain, across the world a conflict arose that System couldn't ignore. The combined forces of Azerbaijan and Turkey attacked the Republic of nagorno karabakh which we call Artsakh in Armenian. A lot of Armenian Americans around the world were gathered doing what we can to raise funds, to spread the message, to, you know, speak to people of influence so that everyone can speak out and, and call for this injustice to end and, and, you know, and for the war to end so that we can move on. For me, this is all personal and emotional. It's our country, it's our history, it's our land. So I, I don't have anything really political or anything like that to say. It's just uh, I'm proud of these songs. I'm proud of the band for getting together and doing this. And I, and I hope it brings some attention to the situation because we're not getting much. Now, I'm no authority figure on things like these, which is why I really didn't talk about the Armenian genocide in my System of a Down retrospective, but the band thought that this was an issue bigger than their personal ones, so they put them aside and out of nowhere popped out Protect the Land and Genocidal Humanoids. Every penny from those songs going to help their brothers and sisters back home with the fight. Now, whatever you may feel about the issue, you have to admit that is commendable as fuck. But what about the two? Well, I think I speak for all of us when I say that there was no wear, tear, or barnacles on the SS system is honestly just baffling. And while Protect the Land is an awesome anthem, when genocidal humanoids kicked in, I wanted more. These two tonic twin terrors of tunes showed that a band was bigger than their personal peccadillos and could come together for a greater cause. And speaking of a greater cause system, make a new album, please and thank you. I am excited for Surge's Elasticity EP though. Well. That does it for what's going to be the first of what I hope is many solo reviews. If you've got one you want me to do, leave it in the comments below. I'll be sure to get to them whenever I can get to them. Until next time, I'm Liam Winfield. Keep on rocking.